Of, he was a mastermind over the win over Hong Kong yesterday. And although they did pull off that big win, they still finished the group bottom because they ended up on equal points with Japan, but lost the head-to-head -head with Japan, so took fourth spot. Noriaki Hashimoto from Japan is the match official. Singapore not having their best day yesterday was highlighted by a massive thumping 66-0 against Sri Lanka. Biggest defeat, biggest scoreline of the series. Went down to China 34-5. Lost to Chinese Taipei 7-0 which maybe was a little unexpected. Malaysia, well as I said that win against Hong Kong was their highlight of the series perhaps. They also beat Japan in leg two. So they're a team that's come on a bit. And they'd love to be facing Japan for a second time tomorrow. Early chance for Malaysia. Number five, Shahidin gets us underway. Injured himself yesterday against Hong Kong. But he looks like he's okay now. Scrum for Singapore on their own 22. Can they put something together today on day two? Something they can be proud of to take back home with them and that's not the way to do it. Daniel just gets a difficult little pass around the ankles but still right under their post. They've given away a scrum and here comes a chance for Malaysia. hands as one he's the instigator of all sorts of mischief he gets this one away to Zafran puts on a bit of goose goes through the tackle can he feed it up to Zuckerfli it's not a good pass but he does enough to beat Daniel Chow and Chow won't be happy with that effort he's just slid off Zuckerfli who scored a magnificent try against Hong yesterday in the same part of the field. Spun out of three tackles to score that one. This one a bit easier. Fourth try of the series. Aswan with a kick and he bends it from left to right and that's a cracker from wide out. So 7-0 Malaysia, good start to them. Not a good start to Singapore. Breaks two tackles there. Just too zippy. Gets around the veteran. Always a grudge match this between these two sides. The battle of the straights. bit of ping pong there and someone had to knock that on as Zafran comes away with it. Down injured again is number five Shahidin. Took a long time to get up from the try that he made yesterday against Hong Kong. The medic's in there to perhaps pop something back into place. Why? 
Now then, halfway through this first half, Ting gets it away quickly to Dukono and they give it a bit of air this time and Samuel Teo tries to get on the outside of Azri. Gets the ball up, but it's a loose one to Yao who has to <laughs> bump someone off to fight for that one. It's well anticipated by Malaysia. This is Amir. Goes into the tackle of Samuel Teo. That's the 22 you see there. Being held back there. You can't do that. You can't pull back. Scrum half. There's a player down for Malaysia as the medic gets out there. So they're playing with six players. Amir. Malaysia deciding to take on Singapore in some straight hard running 15 style. Max Dukono gets it to Chow. Here's Sydney Kumar. Gets the big left hand working, swats them off, but they come back at him and he goes to ground. And still up against six players. If they can just identify the space, Samuel Teo gets taken with one leg up in the air. Now there's some space, but it's not their quickest man on the field. It's Nicholas Yao. He was taken off on a stretcher yesterday, but he's okay today. He's over the 22. Malaysia are very slow getting back out here. Two players are still not behind the ball, and this will be an easy run in for Max Ducono. He's hurt himself maybe, but Nicholas Yell, they had to score there against six players. But important try for Dukono. First appearance in the series, first try in the series. A vital one to stay in touch with Malaysia. Singapore want to avoid relegation. They need to try and win this game to get into the sixth, fifth and sixth playoff. Very hot down there. Here goes Chow. And if you look in back play, two of the Malaysian defenders were still about 20 metres on the wrong side of the ball. There's no way they were going to be able to defend that. The kick was missed. So important miss, 7-5. To be closing on half time. That's a good restart from Ting. Gets it nice and high. Taken well by Zafran. On his knees, he takes a couple of steps and might have not got away with that with a different referee. And what's going on here? <laughs> That's surely going to be a maul. It's been held up by... So long as it's moving, the ref will not stop it. It's not like 15s and eventually a little knock on there so Malaysia did incredibly well to come out of that with a scrum what a tussle time is up Will Malaysia want to go 70 metres, but they've been pushed off the scrum, twisting the scrum though, Singapore. They want to go 60, 70 metres to finish with an important score. Another great tackle coming in. I think it's Sydney Kumar this time. No. It's Dukone. Shahidan gives it away. Samuel Teo now with a chance down the far side and Azri wraps him up and chucks him over the sideline. It'll be half time. Closely matched. Just two points in it. There'll be lots of water being sucked down now. It's so hot out there. Coming up next will be a big game and it is a men's segment. It will be the winners of Pool A from yesterday, Hong Kong, taking on the second place from Pool B, Sri Lanka.
Don't forget that after this game, we'll be switching across to rugbypass.com. The YouTube feed will come to an end. You can follow us on rugbypass.com. Grab yourself a free one month subscription if you haven't already. You can watch it on your phone, your iPad, your your any pad, your TV. But make sure your telephone does not catch fire. As the chocolate fingers come into the commentary box. Thanks, man. Underway, that's just gone the 10 metres. It looked like it had gone 10, but Hashimoto-san says no, not quite. So Malaysia with an early opportunity in the second half and a low pass, but nicely taken from Ferdas. And that is getting close now. On hand is Zafran, and that's a fantastic start for Malaysia. Straight from the mistake from the restart from Singapore. I thought Singapore were a bit hard done by there. They looked to go about the 10 metres from where I was sitting, but referee Hashimoto said no. Straight from the tap, they've gone 50 metres and scored their second try. So it kicks away, so 12 points to 5. Ting and Tio get together, flicked off the ground there at the last moment. And that's a good restart from Zafran, that's how you do it. Nasheruddin taking that one, this time Max Dukono decides to go over the top but Nasheruddin's back there. Samuel Teo gets back to try and save the day and he's going to have to let go of that, but he doesn't. If they can score here, Malaysia, it'll be hard for Singapore to come back. They just have to hold the ball. This is Zulisham. And Zulisham, number eight. Haven't seen much of him this tournament, but he's on hand to get their third try. Two very quick tries. Could put this out of reach for Singapore. And they do look like they've come out, fizzed up for the second half, Malaysia. Fourth try of the series. That could just break the back of Singapore. A little chip and it's over. Good little basketball pass over the top. A wee fend on Ting, who can't stop him from there. And it was all desperation tackles. Another re good restart from Zafran. Sticks it nice and deep down to Ting. On his shoulder is Mohamed Zaki Mahmoud. Bronson Rowe takes a quick run straight at the defenders, who show some discipline and don't try and slow him down. Sydney Kumar's on the wing. 
not the most explosive sprinter on the side, so he puts the brakes on, steadies the ship. Ducono with the quick tap, and he sees no one ahead of him. He's got one to beat. He's got no support, though. Catching up on his outside was Bronson Rowe. Flicks it off the ground. Ting, can you get away? No, he can't. That's good defence coming in from Nasruddin. Over the top goes Izudin, and they've got their hands on it, and he keeps his feet. Excellent work, Malaysia. Desperate stuff. They could have just given up there. Here's Shahidan. Good counter racking from Dukono. Oh, and he's just <laughs> Zarif. Just reaching forward, stretching those hamstrings, and the fingers wouldn't work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Zarif, only three minutes left, and Crouch. Boy. Touch. Singapore can score one quickly here under the post get the conversion they're still in with a chance this Malaysian defense been good so far as Bronson Rowe goes into some contact Nicholas Yao steps up to the five and look at the Malaysians getting busy on them over the top but they've lost their footing Dukono can he just muscle over yes he can Hashimoto down on one knee classic refereeing and that'll close the gap to seven if they can get this simple kick over, which they do. Game on here, just seven points. Good comeback from Singapore. I thought that last try from Malaysia might just have sunk them. a couple of minutes they do look tired though as they stagger back to halfway the waters Dukono does look tired he's going to come off and T Liang Sheng comes on for him he looks absolutely buggered does Dukono and again that's a cardinal sin not going the 10 absolutely Incredible, just trying to stick at the perfect 10 instead of trying to go the 15. Nasruddin, show the go and it's Zafran just goes straight through and he takes on Ting on the outside. Is Ting going to grab him? He is, but he's not going to pull him in and that's it. Game set and match. And Singapore can only really blame themselves for not getting that kick to 10 metres. And Malaysia need no second invitation to close this game out. Second try of the game and of the tournament. And they'll go through to face Japan in the battle for fifth and sixth. Singapore, well, they'll go through with Chinese Taipei to decide who's going to be booted out of the series next year. This YouTube feed will be coming up next is a very big game. There we score 24 12 Malaysia over Singapore. Up next are the men's cup semi finals starting with Sri Lanka, Hong Kong. And 12 minutes from now, we'll be resuming this feed over on rugbypass.com. This YouTube feed will be terminated very soon. We'll see you over on Rugby Pass for the men's semi finals.